Hey Hokie Nation, welcome back to another episode of Hanging with the Hokies. I'm Kai Young, and today we're here with Georgia A. Moore. Hey guys. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Can you tell me how old you were when you got into basketball and what made you get into the sport? Yeah, so I remember distinctively, I was at my cousin's basketball game. I was like five years old and they actually pretty much all fouled out. They needed a sub and I was just in the stands. I was wearing flip flops and they just put me on the court. And ever since then, I just kept playing. Oh, wow, that's that's a really good yeah. origin story right there. Right. <laughs> so did you play any other sports when you were growing up? Yeah, too many. I f honestly feel bad for my parents because it was so expensive, <laughs> but I played like basketball, netball, Australian rules football, soccer, cricket, taekwondo. I was good at taekwondo. Swimming, everything, I swear. That's awesome. I feel like it's good to have that variety and just yeah. kind of narrow it down to get older. Yeah. So can you tell me in your life, whether it was when you were younger or even now, is there a female athlete that you really looked up to or even just an influential woman in your life? Yeah, I mean, at home, I was like a like big fan of Australian women's basketball. So I would have to say like Leilani Mitchell, she was a point guard. Um, she came over here and played and relatively big name. But I think modern day, I really love Naomi Osaka, mm -hmm. the tennis player. I think she's just, her vibe is just immaculate. Yes. And like she has a really good awareness for mental health in sports. Yes. So I love that about yeah. her as well. Yeah. So can you tell me just how the transition was for you coming over here for school mm -hmm. and being so far away from home? Mm -hmm. I think, well, I came here mid-year, so they were already in season. So I think it was easy because I didn't really have time to yes. process it. I was just here and on the go. So honestly, that kind of helped. Um, and just like watching and learning uh, the other girls, just how they go about their business. Like I really had no time for mistakes because I came in halfway and everyone was already established. Yes. So. So what led to your decision to come to Virginia Tech specifically? What drew you to the school? Um, honestly, just the coaches because Vig like I could have gone to school on the West Coast, mm -hmm. probably would have been closer, but here, so far away, literally on the other side of America. Yeah. Um, but no, the coaching staff was phenom phenomenal. Uh, recruiting process when I came here and I met them, I just really sold it. That's great. Yeah. So can you tell me what your favorite thing is about your team? Um, I think the diversity is really nice in personalities because I would say I'm like more out there, but we have some reserved people. We have some funny people, incredibly smart people. Like we have people doing bioengineering and <laughs> medical stuff. Like none of my <laughs> realm of knowledge, but I think that's good because then it influences me to work harder as well. That's great. So you guys just finished up your season. You guys had a pretty great year. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts now that you guys have wrapped up? Um, I think it's great, the success we had, but it's nothing to settle on. I think if anything, keep building on it. And we know that we know we can be better. So heading into this off time, it'll just be great to keep it in the back pocket, but keep working on it. Yeah. So you mentioned kind of not settling and keep building on it. So what are some things that you kind of want to take into the next season personally or as a team? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't really know right now, to be honest. I think personally, I'm just making my game more well-rounded. I think people know me kind of as a shooter and a playmaker, but probably be more aggressive inside of the three-point line. That's personal, but as a team, I don't, I don't really know, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so we're on the topic of it being the off season. What does your day kind of look like now? And like, what does the training aspect look like for you guys as a team and personally as well? Yeah, so right now we're doing team weights, but individual workouts. So yesterday, my day, I woke up, had class, came over here, 11.30, I had an individual. And then went in the locker room, ate, and by the time it was like 2.45, I had a lift. So that's like what a usual day looks like for all of us right now. Okay. Yeah. And this one's a different type of question, but your favorite social media platform and why? <laughs> um, I actually love Twitter. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. And we don't really use Twitter that much in Australia, but I don't know if the information is reliable or not, but it makes a spark. Like I'll see someone on Twitter that's like, informational or just like humorous and then I can expand on that. Yeah. I would say TikTok, but I'm trying to get off that because I spy over oh, too yes. much. I do the exact same thing. Like at night, I will sit on there for hours oh, yeah. and I just got to cut myself off. Yeah. Um, and final question, what is one thing about you 
that people may not know? Oh. Just like fun fact. I feel like I always remember answers to this as soon as the cameras are off, and I'm like, <laughs> I should have said that, but. I just I get I got bit in the head as a kid, so I have a Harry Potter looking scar on my foot. A human. By a human. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> I was I was jumping on the trampoline and I got double bounced and I went up and they came down and now I have the scar on my wow. head. Wow. Now see that is a very fun fact right yeah. there. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for walking around with me and hanging out and letting us get to know you. It was awesome having you. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out our next episode.